I'm Justin, and I'm part of the Hess Toy Truck Team. I'm joined here with my son, Kason, my daughter, Carla, uh, fourth grade and fifth grade, and we're here to give back a little bit, as many people are doing, to help in this time of at-home distance learning. We're going to use the Hess Toy Truck as a learning tool to conduct what we're calling STEM sprints. Sprints because these are short, fast activities that you can do at home with Hess toy trucks or other similar toys you may have around the house. And they're not just made up activities. Uh, Hess, if you don't know it, uh, is a long time collectible toy. And what we've done over the last four years uh, is put together with uh, the help of Baylor College of Medicine uh, curriculum that can be used with each toy to help teach core STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, in this case applied mathematics, STEM concepts. Uh, these curriculum are geared specifically to work with toys, and they're specifically geared to work for the fourth to sixth grade level, but are easily adaptable for as young as pre-K and as old as high school students. And so today we're gonna to start working through these and we'll post some videos over the next couple of days or weeks as we work through the different STEM curriculum guides. Uh, this is the 2016 Hess Toy Truck. This is the guide that goes with it. If you want to download this guide or the guides that go with the 2017, 18, or 19 Hess Toy Trucks, just go ahead to hesstoytruck.com slash stem, and you can download them. They are free, and uh, you can print them out and use these activities and follow along with us at home or do them at your own pace, and there are a lot more activities involved than what we will show, but again, this is a stem sprint, so we're going to keep it quick, right guys? Yes. All right, so today we're going to be using the 2016 Dragster. Yes. Okay? Okay. The Dragster. And the curriculum that goes with that is called Force, Motion, Friction, and Energy. And it teaches all sorts of really cool yeah. concepts. Lesson number two in this step kit is called Determining Average Speed. And it is a lesson that's going to teach these children how to do some scientific experiments. And specifically, using mathematics, they're going to calculate the speed of this racing dragster. The first thing that we're gonna need for this lesson is just floor space. You need to be able to race this dragster across a strip of floor, and you're gonna time it from a start to a finish over 10 feet. And we're gonna calculate speed on a feet per second, and then we're gonna calculate that into miles per hour. And then we're gonna have a little fun and race this dragster against some other Hess toy trucks and see which ones move at the fastest speed. How's that sound? All right, you have a worksheet, yes? Yes. Okay, on that worksheet, there is a grid. Do you see the grid on the worksheet? Yes. yes. Okay, you see it has three trials. Yes. Okay, so you're each gonna get a turn because you each have a sheet. You're gonna take the dragster, you're gonna roll it, rev it back, and go three times and use a stopwatch and record how much time each one took, okay? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. The first thing you have to do is put down a finish line. All right, so how far did you measure this tape out to? 20 feet. Okay. Now we have a starting line. Yes? Yeah, we have a starting line. And we have 20 feet of distance, and we have a finish line. Great. You should have your timer at the finish line ready. In this case, he's timing with an iPad timer. And you're going to say, ready, set, go. Okay. You're going to first prepare by pulling back and be ready to release. Pull it back all the way till it clicks. And then make sure it's behind that line. You got it? Now. Ready, set, go. Three point thirty-six. Okay, that's the first time trial. Good. Set, go. Good. You have a time? Two point fifty seven. Okay, write it down. Go. 336. Okay. Well. Set. Go. All right. What's the time? 2.91. Set. Go. Ready. Set. Go. Okay. Now we're back. We're back with our worksheets. The worksheet has the space for the three times that you would have collected. And below that, there is space to work out the problem. The point is to figure out an average, right? Yep. 
Do we now know? We just did. So, can we talk about what do you have to do to calculate an average? Yes. So, what you have to do is add all the speeds that you got together. And then, what's the next step after and that? And then you have you to divide, divide it by, by the, the number, number of, of times, times you that you did added. it. Which is how many? Three. Three. So, what was your total time? My total? Total time. Um, 9.40. Right, so all three runs together were 9.40. Mm -hmm. When you take that and you divide it by three, because you had three trials, what was your average time? 3.13. And what was your average time? My average time was 3.07. Great. Now, is that your speed? No. no. All right, so now you guys have calculated your actual feet per second speed, right, by taking your total time turning it into an average time, and then divide by, by 20, right? So you have your, your 20 feet over 3 seconds. And that math worked out to be what? Um, 6.45 feet per second. second. Now, if your student isn't capable of doing long division like that, feel free to whip out the calculator and do it for them or with them and teach them how to do that. So 6.45 is your feet per second. If you have a student in upper middle school or high school, feel free to challenge them to convert that into miles per hour. These guys weren't sure how to do that, so we just went on to a converting tool online, and we converted feet per second, and what was your actual miles per hour? 4.4. 4. 4. 4. Miles, miles per, per hour. hour. Not quite as fast as it seemed like it was going, right? Yes, but, we're up close to So now we've, we figured out how to calculate speed, and we figured out how to calculate averages in this exercise. There are a couple of other extensions for this. Number one, you can redo that exercise using your dragster. You can try it in a wheelie position. And we have a little debate. You think what's going to happen with the wheelie? It's going to go faster because there's less friction. And you think what's going to happen? It's going to go slower. Because? There's less friction. <laughs> well, I guess that's why we have hypothesis and we can measure that. Another activity that you can do as an extension is you can race it against other Hess vehicles and time the various speeds. We have another ATV from the 2018 Hess Toy truck that wheelies or runs flat as well, which you can race against it. Those are both pullback motors, or we have a friction motor that lets you go forward, and you can race that as well. So these guys are gonna go ahead and, and do those activities, and they're gonna measure and compare the times. Sound like fun? Yeah. Is there any bets on who's going to win? I think the dragster's going to win. You think the dragster's going to win? I think this one's going to win. Okay, let's find out. Go! Uh, all right, there's the first one for the toe. It was a lot slower. Time for the ATV. Yep. Okay. ATV time. Ready, set, go. Set, go. Will the wheelie go faster or slower on the dragster? We don't know. Ready, set. So why don't you guys add these uh, up? Each each one of you take a minute and do one of these so we have a, an actual time. All right, so we're working on the final math, right? Yeah. We know that the dragster on average was 3.1 seconds mm -hmm. in terms of its time. The ATV was 3.3 seconds, a little bit slower on average, right, time. Yeah. Which one was the fastest? The dragster, right?